All right, I have my paper snowflakes done. Now, if you want to hang them in a window, you're going to run into the problem of the temperatures outside in contrast to the temperatures inside cause the edges of the snowflakes to curl away from the window. And um, the way that I have found to um, counterbalance this is to give the snowflakes a little added weight with um, some wax paper. What I do is I turn my iron on without steam. I put down a layer of newspaper first, then a layer of wax paper. Um, I do a couple snowflakes at a time. If you try to do too many, you're going to mess them up. Then I take another sheet of wax paper, place it over the snowflakes, and a final piece of um, newspaper. Be careful not to use anything with too much color because there could be lead or some other chemical in it that could cause you to feel bad or make you sick. So then I put the other piece of newspaper. I iron it just like I'm ironing a shirt or something just back and forth several times so that the heat can um, melt the wax on the wax paper onto the snowflakes. Then I take the paper off. And the snowflakes are encased in the wax paper now. It's how you do autumn leaves too when you're in school. Um, what I do is I peel the top layer away. It peels real easy, no problem at all. And you can see, I don't know if it will show up in the video, but you can see like a slight imprint of the snowflakes. That means that the wax on the paper has transferred to the snowflakes. And what it does is make them flat. It gives them a little bit of weight and substance, and it protects them against um, the difference in temperature and condensation on the windows and keeps them flat rather than having them curl backwards. So um, if you're going to put them on windows, you'll want to add a little bit of wax to them. That's all. I hope they work for you. And here's the finished products. A few snowflakes that I um, cut out today. I was seven short last night <laughs> when I put them on the windows and had put everything away. Um, these turned out pretty. I like them. Um, it's, it's just always a thrill to do something that turns out so unique, like the real thing. Um, you can use them for so much. You can stencil them with packages. You can put them in windows like I do. You could um, use one on top of a chocolate cake and sift on powdered sugar for the look of a snowflake. Um, so many things. I learned how to do them when I taught crafts in um, a senior center. Um, a great job that I loved. And the ladies always really had a good time doing them. Um, it's fun. Give it a try.